there are significantly harder jobs than this. Right, right. Yeah. But uh, it is um, on an emotional level and a uh, just a a soulful level. It's kind of a difficult job because you're taking a piece of yourself, whatever you're, you've created, whatever story you've come up with, whatever creative idea you want to bring to the public, and you're trying to get it to screen initially, and that could take a long, long time, or it may never happen, so you can put your heart and soul into something, and then it just never pan out. And then when it actually gets made, or you're making it, it may t- not turn out the way you wanted it to, or it may turn out the way you wanted it to, but then the public in general looks at it and goes, well, that was terrible, and then the public tells you that you've wasted years of your life. Or, or it could go the other way. It could be like a really big thing, um, like a, a thing that really puts you on the, like, it, it, you're just gambling. It's, it's, it, all the talent in the world does not guarantee you a, a career in this business. And, uh, and, you know, you can't really speak for yourself as to what position you have coming in because it's different for everybody, depending on timing and, and uh, luck and, you know, who you're connected to initially and it, just people taking a chance on you. It's, it's, it is a very difficult business. And yeah, I would say that if film isn't your heart and soul, and if it's not the thing that you want to do with the rest of your life and you've got any other kind of pursuit, I wouldn't really think filmmaking would be for you. But if you've heard that and you're like, fuck that, I'm doing it anyway, (laughs) you've already answered your own question because you are going to push through no matter what. And that's the kind of person who lasts in the film industry. Hi, this is Greg Lamberson, and you are listening to Without Your Head, and I have a long history of film without heads. We have no head in Slime City, we have no head in Killer Rack, and we have no head in Johnny Gruesome. Check out all those headless films.